Hey guys, Jaden Irwin here with Little Sticks. Today we're going to be talking about Astro and Sanity. Um, this is a starter that I recently created for, you might guess it, Astro and Sanity. Um, it's a NPM package that you can install. It is an Astro um, integration, and we'll talk a little bit more how that works. But uh, really this is just going to be a quick demo of how to set up the package, how to set up Sanity to work with it. Um, and I know some people have reached out saying, hey, I don't know a whole lot about setting up Sanity. Can you like actually start from scratch doing that? So that's really what we're going to do. We're going to set up this integration with a brand new Sanity Studio. Um, I say brand new, but there is a little bit of data in the Sanity Studio, just so you don't have to see me um, manually create a couple of blog posts. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you go to NPM and you search for astro-sanity, you should be able to find it. There is gonna be a link below too if you wanna take a look at that. Um, I hope that the documentation is also thorough enough that you can kinda understand how to set this up by yourself. Uh, but we're gonna go through it together here. So all I've done is create a um, folder with two folders in it, and we've got backend and frontend. You might guess that the front end is going to be Astro, back end is going to be Sanity. Um, you can name those whatever you want if you're going through this yourself. That's just kind of how I like to structure things, back end and front end if I'm doing a mono repo. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop into our back end folder first. We're going to do Sanity init. And the reason that I'm able to run this Sanity command is I have ran npmi-g at Sanity slash CLI. And that is the Sanity CLI um, helper. So go ahead and install that if you haven't already. I believe you could run NPX as well if you wanted to, but um, it's probably worth downloading and setting up yourself. So we're gonna do Sanity init, and there's nothing too confidential here. We are going to use my, where is it at? Sanity minimal starter project that I already have. We're going to do production data set that is already there. So just go through those prompts, output path, and then we're going to do a blog schema. Uh, mainly because I don't want to have you have to wait around for that movie schema where you have to upload all of the sample data. I know that would be a little bit more fun one to go through because everyone does blogs, but yeah, we are going to be going through the blog today for the sake of time. So that's gonna take a second. I could open up another terminal here real quick and go to our front end. We're gonna do npm init astro. And you might think that we're gonna do the blog, but that one is set up with markdown. There's a bunch of stuff already going on in there. Um, for the sake of simplicity, we are gonna do the minimal astro starter. So that was just npm init astro, npm install. Looks like Sanity finished. We'll get that running here in a second. And this might, this video might end up looking a lot like what you've seen on my Astro Sanity minimal starter. You might have even noticed that the project that I used. Um, but this is going to be just a demo of this integration. It's not so much to set up a starter for people to use or anything like that. Um, yeah, I mean, you can use it as your minimal starter if you want, but there already is a project for that. So totally up to you. Um, I just know that people have kind of asked, how do you do this from scratch? How do you make this work? So we're gonna go through it together. Um, let's do sanity, install. I believe it already kind of runs that for you, but let's just run it real quick. Yeah, so sanity start in the back end. Then in the front end, we're gonna do npm start. Cool, so both are running. We're probably gonna end up killing Astro pretty quickly here. Um, sign into my account real quick. Cool, so we have our uh, Sanity Studio running. You'll notice that if I go to posts and open up some posts here, I already did cheat a little bit. I set up some demo posts from the past in this project with the same schema so that's why it's working automatically for me but if you just want to go ahead and create a couple of demo 
blogs or start bringing over your own blog content if you're planning on switching over to Sanity as your CMS, um, then go ahead and do that. We've got an author in here, a couple of authors, a couple of categories for the posts, um, nothing too crazy there. And there's mainly just, honestly, lorem ipsum on most of these blog posts. But that's how our Sanity Studio is working. What we are going to do for this integration is do npm or npx astro add astro sanity. And it is going to give you this warning saying, hey, this is not an official astro package. Continue at your own risk. We're going to say, yep, that's fine. It's trustworthy. I'm not doing anything crazy under the hood. Really, this integration is mostly just wrappers around helpers that I've already been using for Sanity and integrating with it really smoothly. I mean, I've, I've done websites in production with this setup. Um, it's just this integration kind of brings everything together into one package. So just go through those prompts with that add command. It should do most of the work for you. And when it's done, we're going to go into the front end astro.config.mjs and there we go it added import sanity from astro sanity and then the sanity uh, function so inside of that sanity function we're going to do a um, object and copilot's already kind of figuring out i think mostly because this was written in typescript this function or this uh, integration that copilot is pretty smart about what needs to go in this object so uh, definitely a win for TypeScript there, but we are going to grab our project ID from our backend folder. We're going to do sanity.json, and the the project ID is right there near the top. That's a string. Dataset is production. Um, we're not going to do a token, but you could do a token if you had some authenticated content that you needed to access. Um, normally, you'd use that for like drafts if you were trying to get drafted content. And that's a whole other conversation about how you could pull drafted content into Astro, but it is possible, just uh, more setup. And we're gonna do API version. This is gonna be, uh, yeah, 2021, 325. That's one of the latest. I think they did just recently push a, a new update to the API. Um, I don't, I haven't used that one myself yet. Not totally sure on what changes are in there to do some research but there we go so if you're following along in the documentation here too that it looks just like this right so project id your project id api version cdn all of that right um usage you can kind of go through this but this is really what we're going to be doing so um, let's go ahead and start this again and now we should be able to start using this sanity client info that we've set up and we're gonna do a new folder. Let's call it Sanity. You can call this your lib folder. You can call it whatever you want. You don't have to call it Sanity. We're gonna do an api.js file. This is our Sanity API kind of file that holds all of the helpers, all of the queries that we have. Import, and this is gonna be from Astro Sanity. And what we're importing is use Sanity Clamp, just like that. I bet you Copilot is going to pretty quickly figure out what we're trying to do, but this is going to be a get all posts function. And const client equals use sanity client. So this returns the client info that we set up there. And then const query equals type uh, post, type equals post. Params, we could pull that out of there. We're not doing any special params or anything like that. So we're just going to do that client.fetch query return post. So that looks good. Very simple fetch function from that sanity client. Um, to use this, we can just actually start testing if it works. If we go into our index.astro, we're going to do import. And our import is going to be get all posts from. Uh, we're going to go up one to sanity and then API. Cool. And then we're going to do this const, I think Copilot already figured out, const post equals await get all posts. So uh, it is asynchronous, so we need to await get all posts. 
Now, what I like to do just to make sure that this kind of thing is working is just do a, a div, very simple, json.stringify, and let's just stringify the posts. Make sure those are coming through. So if we go over to localhost 3000, there we go, Astro, and we got our payload. So looks like a whole bunch of craziness, but it's just JSON um, coming down from Astro. And we could add a little bit of styling to this if we wanted. Just do a little style tag in here, body, system UI, Roboto. Looks like a sans serif is what it defaulted to. Cool, a little bit nicer looking. Um, on the body, maybe not, but let's do wrap. This is a nice little all I did there is command palette and then Emmet has a wrap with abbreviation uh, helper or command. Super nice that you can just wrap whatever you highlighted in something. Um, and then we have main. So now I'm gonna just style that main with a max width. Let's do actually margin zero auto max width, uh, so like 900 pixels, cool. So just more constrained, a little bit easier to read. Um, now, not that that is easy to read, um, but now we are gonna actually start using this data. Um, so let's go under pages, probably, we can probably just do this all in one file for now. Um, what we're gonna do here is, we've got this working kind of debating what we show next. Yeah, let's just go ahead and list the posts. I think that makes sense. So we're gonna do, uh, and we can change this H1 to posts. So UL, and this is gonna be, Copilot is pretty smart. So post.map, post, and then that's gonna go to this post.slug.current, post.title. So that's exactly what we want, Copilot, probably has learned from how many times I've written this myself and how many times other people have written something like this with Sanity, but there we go. So our schema is very straightforward, post.title, post.slug, that's pretty normal for Sanity. Um, we could go in here to the style tag, let's do a UL, list style, none, margin, zero, padding, zero. Um, we could do UL line margin bottom one rim, a little bit more space there. Cool. So now we've got those and they're linking to this post, post welcome to the Astro Sanity integration. That's going to be a 404 because that page doesn't exist yet. Um, but yeah, so we've got this going to the posts folder. Um, so we could just do a post folder and let's do in here, we're going to do a slug dot astro. And this is going to have a get static pass function in it. Um, and you know what we could do actually, just to kind of spice this up a little bit, let's set up the image integration now. So if we go under sanity, we're gonna to go to, um, we could call this like just helpers.js or something, or you could even just call this whole file get sanity image, or I think I even uh, copied how sanity likes to name it. I think they do URL for image. So you could just go ahead and copy this, which I think just for the sake of time I'm going to, but really this is similar to that. So use sanity client from Astro Sanity create image builder from Astro Sanity. I could probably update that and make it one import. Uh, that's probably what I'll do here. Let's go ahead and cut that because it's from the same package, right? So get rid of that line. And then all that's happening here, so we have export const image builder. Oh, I'm sorry, I should probably name this correctly for image.js, cool. Export const image builder equals create image builder. That's that function coming from the helper package. 
and then use sanity client is getting passed into that. So it, that's the client for that create image builder function. So what's cool about the way that I structured this is you can name these things whatever you want. You do have to call the create image builder function, but you could end up calling your image builder something different if you prefer that and doing other transforms on that if you needed to. Uh, you can also do this export function, call that function whatever you want, um, and then do other things to the image if you need to for whatever reason. Um, so it's really flexible doing like these helper packages, these helper functions that just do the base level thing. And then you set up, you know, what is this, six lines of code, uh, <laughs> seven lines of code. You can, you know, set up and name everything exactly how you want it to be in your code base. Um, so that's why I structured it that way. Some people might not like that. They might want something more opinionated, but that's how we did it. So URL for image.js. Now, let's go ahead and put an image in here. Source equals. That's going to be an object, and we're going to close that off. Now we are going to import. It is in another file. So import URL for image from sanity URL for image. Cool. Autocomplete helped us there. This is going to be URL for image. And it's post dot, I think it's featured image. I might have to go and look at the, I guess we can just go look right here, right? We'll go into sanity, inspect. And what do we have? So we got body, author. What do we call that? Main image. Cool. So post dot main image. I guess I could go and check my schema too. But yeah, post dot main image. This is going to be dot URL. And then what do we have here? Close that. Boom, gigantic image for each post. <laughs> uh, let's do width equals 300 pixels. Cool. Uh, we can make these display flex, flex direction column. I could be using something like Tailwind to do this a little faster in line, um, but honestly, it's really not that much CSS to make something like this look decent at least. Um, we could do UL, another something like this, text decoration, none, and color inherit. I don't know why the purple just like kind of drives me nuts, but <laughs> um, it just does. So let's get rid of that. That's why we're doing color inherit. And then we'll just do text decoration underline on hover. Cool. Technically, the image is um, actually no, the image is not clickable. We could make it clickable. If we pull that up, wrap it around. Oh, a little autocomplete messing with us there. Cool. So still failing, right? Because we don't have get static paths running in that um, file quite yet. But yeah, we've got posts and then export const, or not export const, um, export. Hmm, I might have to cheat, get static pass. This is, I got to remember the syntax. Let's just go ahead and steal it. So get static pass. I thought that was going to take me there. Interface, Astro Props. Export async. So it is asynchronous. And then how do we want to do this? So params is going to be the slug. For the sake of time, I'm going to cheat. We already have the code. Um, 
you know, actually one of the fastest ways to get to it. Shameless plug here. We are working on, I am working on the littlesticks.dev website. Um, check it out. Give me some feedback if you had some. Um, it's definitely a work in progress, but that's how I'm going to get to this Astro Sanity Minimal Starter repo. And we're going to go to Astro, Source, Pages, Blog, Slug, and we are just going to steal most of this. Maybe not all of it. Return all blog posts. And then we do need to import get all posts from the Sanity API. We've already done that. Um, so Sanity API and then await get all posts, all blog posts dot map post slug is our parameter, right? So slug, that's what we put in brackets for Astro. And const post equals astro.props, right? So we're passing the post down into this file. And we're going to do uh, h1. Actually, I don't really have a layout set up yet, which is why we're probably just going to go and grab all of that. HTML. We're going to get rid of the list. And let's keep the main. Just get rid of the list. Now, if we go back over here, posts is still there. So that looks like it's already working. We could make the H1, um, the H, the, like the title of the blog post. So let's do post.title. Let's see. Cool. Astro.21 preview V plus Wasm. Yeah, this is like a um, little demo blog, but that is awesome. So now we have that working. Let's get the image working. We can steal code that we already have written for that. So we're going to go over to the slug, import URL for image, sanity URL for image.js. Um, our path is going to be a little bit different. Just nested one deeper. And we're going to do an image. I don't know. People kind of have mixed feelings about should the image be on top or should the title be on top? I kind of have, I feel like the image should be below the title. That's just me though. Maybe that's just me. But image source URL for image post dot main image. Copilot's pretty nice. It just already kind of knows to do those types of things. But let's do main and let's add a class to this. Call it main image with 100%. Sweet. There's our featured image. Now what we want to do is get the portable text. So uh, you might notice that we're just kind of going through here, right? So we did an image helper. Now we're going to do a portable text serializer. Um, all that really means is that we are taking the portable text from Sanity. So if you look inside of your Sanity Studio that you've set up, um, you're probably noticing that Sanity likes to call it block content. Um, block content is the rich text fields that you'll see inside of Sanity. Um, it's kind of gone through some different names, I think. Um, block content is what Sanity calls it in their starters. Um, it, they also like to call it block content in other places for some reason. But it has been rebranded to portable text. Um, if, if you kind of look at Sanity's portable text documentation, that's really what's powering the block content is portable text. So under the hood, you are using portable text. Um, and really what all it is is like a structure for rich, rich content to be output to HTML, React, Views, Felt, um, Astro. It looks like someone did make a portable text to Astro um, serializer. Um, I haven't used this myself. I'm sure it's great. Um, all I've been using is the portable text to HTML setup, and it works really well. Um, it's basically just taking that portable text, and it knows what to do when it hits a bold piece of text, right? That should be output as a strong tag. Um, it knows what to do when it hits a link, and you can customize this too, which is really nice. So if you start reading through this portable text to HTML package, 
um, which is linked in the um, NPM documentation, you'll notice that we have this customizing components and you can declare custom components for custom types and marks or blocks that you've created for Sanity. Um, very simple to do, right? Like this image, this would be a, an image block inside of our Astro, um, you know, Sanity minimal starter. This one that I have here, we've got an image block and this image type tells it what to do uh, when it hits that image, right? So when you hit this image type, I want you to output this image tag. And this is what I want you to do with it type of thing. Um, it looks like they are using an HTM and VHTML module to render safe HTML. I've used the lit HTML package. Um, there's a lot of options there. I think another one is called common tags and it has an HTML prefix for your um, backticks for your template literal. So yeah, a lot of options there, a lot of flexibility. I'm sure you're noticing a trend with this package that you can kind of implement it however you want. Um, but that's enough of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and do it. So um, we're going to go into our sanity folder. We're going to create a portable text.js file. And in here, I'm going to go back. I'm going to cheat again. Import portable text from Astro Sanity. Uh, URL for image. That's imported in here for what kind of we just saw. Image value output an image type of thing. So that's a pretty common component that you would want to use. And I believe it's a type. So we should wrap that in a type. I'm going to copy most of that actually. And this HTML tag, um, we can just kind of skip that for now. It's okay. It will work. So import portable text to HTML from Astro Sanity and then import URL for image. Um, from that URL for image file that we created. So source equals value.image URL. Um, we might have to play with this a little bit because this is different than how I've used it before, but let's just do URL for image. See if this works. It might end up being like value.asset, value.image, but let's play with it. So dot URL. So image, um, and then this export function, sanity portable text, we are going to use this function and it takes in portable text and it passes that down into our portable text to HTML function. Custom components gets passed into that and then it outputs HTML, right? So it returns HTML to us. That's really essentially all it does. Uh, we are going to create a new folder called components. And we're going to have a sanity portable. Actually, we could just call it portable text. We know it's coming from sanity dot Astro. And let's go ahead and do that. Do the fences. We are going to do a prop on that. It's going to be const portable text. You could call it P text or whatever you want. Um, I like to just be pretty specific with my props so I know what's getting passed in. I guess you can also use TypeScript to make that a little easier on yourself too. But we're going to do a fragment. Set HTML is going to be portable text passed in. And that should really be it. So the way this works is we're going to use this portable text Astro component. And it takes in portable text, as you'd imagine. And then we have a fragment where it sets the HTML. So fragments are, you can read more about fragments. It's, if you're coming from React, you probably already know what fragments do. Um, it's just kind of like a um, no, like it doesn't have, it's not a div. It's not a, um, it's not a node really. It's like a placeholder for whatever you're trying to output. Um, most commonly you have fragments surrounding um, multiple nodes, multiple pieces in the DOM. And we, I don't really have to go through fragments, <laughs> um, but yeah, basically we're using a fragment so that we don't have to do something like, which you could do this if you wanted it wrapped in a div with a specific class on it. Maybe you do want to do that. 
you could do the same thing, set HTML, and then it will set the HTML, inner HTML of that div. Um, I don't want that myself, which is why I'm using a fragment. So little tangent there. We are going to do portable text. We're going to close that off. It wasn't picking up that that is a component for us, so we are going to just have to import it. Components, portable text, and it is not JS. So close, uh, Copilot, but not quite. Now we're going to do portable text equals post dot, I think it's just body. I might be wrong. I think I'm right. And now we just need to start figuring out what's going on here. So object, object, it's getting passed in. Let's see what we've got here. So, ah, this is the missing piece. So I forgot to use the function that we just set up. <laughs> this is development in a nutshell. I hope people like that I fumble in my videos. If you don't, then you're just a better developer than me. Um, but I just kind of like showing people that no matter where you are coding, everyone messes up, everyone forgets a little piece, everyone puts in a semicolon maybe where there shouldn't be a semicolon or so on and so forth. Um, that's just development in a nutshell, right? So it's okay to mess up. Um, I think it's worse if you don't admit it personally, but I won't, I won't get on my soapbox. But there we go. So import sanity portable text from sanity portable text, that function that we created that takes in portable text and then outputs HTML. We're using it, passing in the portable text, and then we've got HTML just like that. There is a block type of code in here. Um, if we wanted to, we could create a custom type for code. And it's gonna be very similar. We'll have to test that our image is working as well too. But uh, let's just do a pre-code value.code, yeah. Something simple like that. So there is a code block in here just with the data that I had in there already. But that's all it's doing is it's saying, hey, I didn't know what to do. I hit this block called code. What do you want me to do? So we just go in here to the custom components, set a code value, um, and tell it what to do with code, right? With that block. Now let's go to some other ones. Crazy big image. And you might be wondering, well, this image is normal, this image is not. And the reason for that is this is coming from portable text, right? So it's doing this image source. Um, what we could do, we could do like a global class of responsive image or something like that. Um, but we're going to go the shortcut route here and we're going to do style equals max uh, width 100 percent. And there you go. So we've got responsive images. We've got our HTML all coming through from Sanity. Um, I know it's, I was said this was gonna be quick, but if we're doing every, everything from scratch, it's gonna take some time. Um, I know we're at like 35 minutes, it's telling me. But yeah, hopefully that helps anyone out there that's like, hey, I wanna use Astro, I'm already using Sanity, how do I make them work? Or I'm new to Sanity, I'm new to Astro type of thing. Um, I just wanted to create something so people can kind of see what it looks like to integrate the two and start using that data. So we've got posts. Um, it's creating those post pages for you. You still will want to set up like all the SEO and all of that stuff. That's what that Sanity Minimal Starter repository is for. It has all of that stuff done. Um, if you want to take a look at it, absolutely go for it. Um, it is a good place to start, but sometimes it's helpful to start from scratch and know why things are working the way they are. So that's really why I wanted to make this video and walk you guys through it. So thank you so much for watching and leave any comments below. I'm happy to help. Um, I did announce this in the last video, but we do have a Discord channel now, Discord server. 
If you want to go ahead and join the Discord, there will be a link in the description below. I'm happy to help out there as best I can. There are kind of a couple of people joining in there already, so I'm sure they're happy to help out too with their experience. So just kind of want to make a community of people who are like-minded devs interested in the same type of technology that I'm using. Um, and hopefully it can be something really cool. So thank you so much for watching again. We'll see you guys. See you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.